It's the Wine Sleuth coming at you from London. This lovely May day today. It's just beautiful and it means it's almost summer. I'm so excited. I'm just so sick of winter. Um, and you know what that means? It's time for rosé! I love rosés. I really do. I think they're just so underappreciated. Uh, which is actually a good thing because that means they're not so expensive. Uh, so anyway, today I've got uh, two rosés. Count them. One, two. There they are. But I have one from France and one from Hungary. Um, the Hungarian one is really interesting because I got it, uh, the producer gave it to me. Actually, the winemaker, Tibor Gol, uh, gave it to me. So here we are. We've got the Jules Rosé. Uh, it's from the south of France, from the Vin de Pays de Mars. And Vin de Pays is a new designation, de Mars is a new designation. Uh, just came in, I think, last year when they changed all the classifications. Because before it used to be just Vin de Pays and, and that was it. Uh, and now they've kind of broken it down into specific uh, terroirs, specific appellations. Uh, anyway, this one is made by a guy by the name of Julian Faulkner, uh, who um, decided that he wanted to make very approachable, easy drinking, but inexpensive wines. Um, and so we have, we have the rosé here. It's a blend of uh, Syrah Grenache and Cinso. So, here we are. Looking at it, I would say it's very, very pale. Um, salmon. I mean strawberries. Getting loads of strawberries on the nose. Again, fresh strawberries. Nice acidity, but not. it's not too zippy. It's not too zingy. Uh, but I can definitely see it's got, a, it's got a nice body as well. It's not too light. You know, it's got a really medium body, I would say. But a very nice, very nice and clean. Uh, and dry. It's not sweet at all. Which for me, I prefer these drier rosés. I don't really like the sweet ones. <laughs> As I said, I, I went to the Hungarian annual wine tasting last week, um, and the Hungarians were actually showcasing their dry wines as opposed to their Tokai, which I do love. I love Tokai. It's just it's really one of my favorite dessert wines in the world. But they've actually they're actually focusing on their dry. A whole line of wines uh, from the Pannon Helmi Vineyard. And what's interesting about this vineyard was that it was actually founded by Benedictine monks in 996 AD. So it's been around for about a thousand years. Um, anyway, so the monks have been making wine for years and years and years uh, until the communists came around. Yeah, those commies. Uh, they're just horrible. Yeah, they just completely closed everything down, kicked out the monks, and that was the end of wine production uh, in Penan Halmi, as we know it. Fortunately, the wall came down, the communists were kicked out, and... Hungarians <laughs> rediscovered their heritage uh, and so this wine is actually produced um, by the uh, by a uh, the Abbey which is the Penn and Holly Abbey with funding by the um, Hungarian Tourist Board Bank I think it's what it's called uh, so back in 2000 we got back together again the Abbey approached the bank they got together uh, and they recruited Tibor Gall, which is a very, uh, he's a very well-known winemaker uh, in Hungary. And the rosé is a blend of Pinot Noir and Merlot. Uh, and uh, it's a 2008, it's 50-50. Strawberry jelly. Strawberry jelly, oh yeah, it looks like strawberry jelly. That's what it is. It's definitely got a bit more color in there. So, let's roll it around. Oh, so good, this wine is so good. <sighs> So, you know what? It's so fresh. Is what it is. This one is so so fresh. It's like fresh, fresh strawberries, fresh cherries, really fresh fruit. You know, I think that's what it is. And it also has a really nice line of minerality running through there. No, Potent. this really? one has just got a bit more structure to it. It's got a bit more going on. The nose is a bit more complex, um, which is very interesting because Hungary's not really well. As far as I know, I've never had a Hungarian uh, rosé, but I could be in the minority. Uh, but anyway, it's a lovely nose. Everyone's had one. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody but me, the yeah, wine saloon has, has had Hungarian rosé. <laughs> so yeah, so it's a lovely nose. Strawberries, cherries, a nice minerality running through there. It's kind of like those those wet rocks that you get sometimes, which, which I love. I love red rock, wet rocks. You know what it is? It's really, really intense strawberry. But it's not sweet. It's not, it's not bubblegummy at all. It's just very, very fresh. And again, you have... Um, cherry, I think, as well. You've got kind of like a, a little bit of a black cherry character, I think, running through it. Which is probably from the Pinot, I would think. Uh, yeah, from the Pinot. Um, it's quite medium-bodied, I would say. And the acidity is not as um, 
It doesn't attack you as much as the other one. The other one had really just the acidity just really attacked you. Whereas this one, the acidity is a bit more toned down. It's still there. It still washes out the palate, but it's just a it's just a really lovely wine. And this is something that you could enjoy. You know, you just, you wouldn't want to just glug it. So anyway, that's the wine sleuth with these two uh, rosés. One we'd give it a pass. Well, no, one we would say is is very easy drinking, gluggable. Uh, wine 90 says it's giving it a thumbs down, <laughs> but the wine sleuth is saying, you know, if you want something that's easy and gluggable, drinkable, uh, and dry, go for the jewels. It's, it's just a nice, it's a nice, easy rosé. Something to take to the park with you. If you want something with a bit more complexity uh, and something that you can really enjoy, go for this Hungarian rosé, the Panahalmi rosé. Uh, which is just very good, uh, very well made, lovely strawberry, black cherry fruit character with a nice minerality, a nice body to it, lovely acidity, but not too much. Uh, this is the one. I would just like to say thank you to Y90 for being my camera woman today. She's the best. You're the best. You know that. <laughs> And, and she's very modest as well. When I dirty, when I mean, we love everybody, but we do as we please. When the world